Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 40652 Class Bravo. Date 11-15-2011. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO Investigator B.G. Martin. What? Witness something he couldn't explain. Who? Army Sergeant, 26 years old, did two hours in Iraq and one in Afghanistan. Where? Barji Matal, Nuristan Province, Afghanistan. Elevation 6,000 feet, looking to the northwest. Why? Night watch, looking out for potential Taliban attackers on their outpost. I met the witness at the 2013 Kentucky Expedition and he recounted to me an experience he had when he was in the U.S. Army stationed in Afghanistan in 2011. Account. What the sergeant viewed he saw through an infrared scope. Thermal military grade thermals are far more detailed at distances than commercial grade units. The subject was 500 to 600 meters away, 0.31 to 0.38 miles, and it was viewed for 10 to 15 minutes. It was enough of an event that he woke the five other soldiers in his troop to look through the scope. None of them could come up with a reasonable explanation for what they were seeing. Only explanation that didn't sound completely crazy was that a gorilla had escaped a zoo. What he saw was scrambling up a granite shell mountain at a far more agile rate than he could, could because of the tricky footing as a result of the loose-fitting rocks. It looked like a big monkey or ape. It was big and beefy in the shoulders. There are Rusus macaque monkeys in the area, but their maximum male dimensions are a height of 25 inches and weight of 30 pounds, and they have tails. Characteristically, they are only active during the day and sleep at night and move in troops of 20 to 200. Locals use blankets as coats, and it was clear that whatever it was was not wearing any clothing because of the heat signature it was giving off. Its body was all one shade of white. If someone was wearing clothing, whatever part of the body that was covered with clothing would be darker than the exposed skin or hair. Example above is of a clothed person being viewed through a thermal imager. Clothed parts of the person are darker than the exposed face. Hands and nose are darker than the face because the person's hands and nose are colder relative to the face and neck. The sergeant stated if he thought in any way that the unknown subject was human, he would have engaged it and shot it with his M14 EBR battle rifle. Barji Matal is a village in the province of Nuristan, located in the northeastern part of the country in a valley surrounded by the Hindu Kush Mountains. Many think of war and desert when Afghanistan is mentioned, not wildlife and mountains, when in fact more than 80% of the population depends on the natural resources. The Kashmir musk deer, thought to be extinct, was recently seen for the first time in 60 years in northeastern Afghanistan. See, strange fanged deer persist in Afghanistan. Well-adapted species of wildlife are found throughout the mountains. Three varieties of wild goats, black and brown bears, snow leopard, bird life, and many of the streams contain brown trout. Villages in mountain valleys grow wheat, barley, millet, peas, wine grapes, and other fruit, and raise livestock, mainly goats. Barmanau is a tall, bipedal creature found in the mountains of Afghanistan and Pakistan.
thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your